I only want to make one other point and get your thought here. Um, I have, obviously, National Signing Day is coming up mid-December. We're sitting here about six to seven weeks in front of that. Uh, it's a crucial time for a lot of programs around the nation. But my thought concerning USC is that, of course, it's important, but they're pretty much playing with house money at this point. And they're really in a situation where they, they've overplayed um, themselves at this point. Coming off four and eight, Lincoln Riley, the shine is still there, of course that really it's going to be difficult for them to lose anything in the recruiting game. They have set themselves up nicely to finish strong for National Signing Day. I think the one thing that USC would really love to get out of National Signing Day is, is a five-star offensive lineman. Because that's been the thing that USC has not been able to get for several years. If USC you know, has gotten some four-stars, can they land the really big fish on the offensive line. Like that's like, that's been like the Holy grail for USC in recent years, trying to get that if the Trojans can, can get that. Like that would be a crown jewel type moment. Now, having said that in terms of the transfer portal, like Lincoln Riley has shown that he can work the portal. It's one of his best assets as a coach off the field in terms of that talent acquisition bucket that you just mentioned. Um, you know, he's going to continue to raid the portal and man, he's going to have a banquet table available in the portal because you look at the disintegrating situation at Louisville you look at the disintegrating situation for Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M and of course Josh Henson the offensive line coach used to be at Texas A&M Lincoln Riley's coaching staff has a lot of Texas roots uh, and you and you have other problematic situations across the country maybe Sark and Texas as well where you could see a lot of players saying you know what? I'm stuck here. I need to get out of here. I need to find a new place to play. Man, I can see USC and Lincoln Riley being very active and very successful at raiding the portal, pouncing on those vulnerable situations at Texas, at Texas A&M, at Louisville. I mentioned Louisville because Louisville did a lot in the NIL space. Louisville threw a lot of dollars in the NIL space at recruits. And so, with if, you know, assuming Scott Satterfield gets fired and he's squarely on the hot seat, I don't think the win over Pitt changes things too much, though it obviously helps. But you know, assuming that Satterfield gets fired, Louisville is going to be a prime place for for Lincoln Riley uh, to jump in the transfer portal. So, even if the recruiting doesn't hit all the boxes and and, and hit all the marks, there's going to be a banquet table in the transfer portal for Lincoln Riley at USC.